friends today we are going to understand about powder metallurgy process powder metallurgy process offers lot of advantages and slowly it is gaining you know more importance in the practical field today the this presentation the session 1 is the outline of presentation includes understanding the introductory part of the powder metallurgy then let us understand the definition of powder metallurgy then importance of powder metallurgy and then understand the advantages process limitations and practical applications of powder metallurgy after that powder metallurgy field applications and then the various materials that we can process with the help of this powder metallurgy so the session objective is to understand the importance of powder metallurgy uh, to learn about its uh, process advantages limitations and applications of powder metallurgy and also understand the various work materials that we can use with the help of this particular process now let us uh, broadly first understand the manufacturing process avenue which is available to us manufacturing processes uh, you can broadly classify into basic one is shaping processes in shaping processes we have four different types of processes one is solidification processes that is nothing but the casting process or a foundry practice the second one is particulate processing and this particulate processing is nothing but powder metallurgy the third category of processes deformation processes bulk deformation processes or sheet metal deformation processes we have and these are the processes which are categorized as metal forming processes the fourth category is metal removal processes or metal cutting processes which uh, which is also termed as machining processes then property enhancing processes in that we have a heat treatment processes third category is surface processing operations cleaning and surface treatments and then processes relating to coating and deposition processes another uh, area is assembly operations in that we use permanent joining processes in that brazing and soldering adhesive bonding threaded fasteners and fourth one is permanent fastening method so lot of uh, you know manufacturing processes are available uh, we have to best select the process it is based upon the capability of a process to meet the objectives now today our objective is to understand the powder metallurgy process powder metallurgy let us understand the definition of this uh, the first simple definition it goes like this the art and science of producing metal powders and utilizing them to make a serviceable objects so powder production is the first step so various techniques are deployed for powder production the characteristic of powder defines the quality of products and then the further steps are there to process that powder to make the convert that powder into serviceable objects the second definition gives a new dimension that it's a material processing technique used to consolidate particular matter that is both metals as well as non metal so types of materials that you can deploy for processing it enhances the application and then again uh, processing of powder and making a serviceable product this is another dimension of the definition third one again it clarifies in detail that it's a process whereby a solid metal alloy or a ceramic in the form of a mass or 
mass of dry particles is converted into an engineering component of predetermined shape and possessing properties which allow it to be used in most cases without further processing. That means, we are using a, either a solid metal or alloy or a ceramic and that is in a form of a mass of a dry uh, particles, those are processed and for a desired shape and the definition gives another dimension that is it allows it to be used in most cases the final product without further processing that means it is a near net shape processing or net shape processing technique this gives you another feature of this uh, process through the definition now after understanding the definition of this process let us understand the importance of powder metallurgy it it Powder metallurgy, you know, it uh, attainment of a composition and its properties. Uh, if we compare it with to the conventional method, uh, conventional method like casting or melting, here the powder metallurgy gives us uh, more, you know, satisfactory attainment of desired composition and through that fulfillment of desired properties. Powder metallurgy, you know, it is uh, most economically viable mass production method for structural components and that too uh, very close tolerance it attains. So, this is in one, you know, uh, you know uh, advantage or importance of this, it gives us, it satisfies the ultimate objective that we would like to fulfill. One is the cost factor, another one is quality factor, another one is time factor. So, mass production serves the purpose of time factor, time fulfillment. Then, because of that, uh, you know, mass production, the cost comes now. So, time and cost, those objectives we are meeting and close tolerance fulfillment means quality fulfillment. Then, it produces some parts that is exclusivity of this process is concerned which you cannot produce it with the help of any other product that means only powder metallurgy is the process which is suitable for manufacturing some parts that more reason why that is tungsten filaments for incandescent lamp bulbs they are made by only through powder metallurgy products so this is another one exclusiveness of this uh, manufacturing process. Certain alloy combinations are, uh, you know, you can process it with only with the help of powder metallurgy and then uh, it gives you, uh, for a long run production, it gives me the economic viability. Now, mass produced to a near net shape or a net shape and then eliminating any further processing this is the major advantage of this unique feature you can say no wastage of material near net shape means 97 percent conformance only two to three percent of material waste this is or net shape means 100 percent conformance and uh, we can make the products with a specified level of porosity to produce porous metal parts which are essential in the field. For example, filters, oil pregnated bearings, self lubricating gears, all those you can produce it with the help of this. So, these are some unique features of this powder metal. Now, let us understand why advantages, limitations, we discuss it. It gives us idea about the process capability. More advantages, less limitation, it gives me more practical application. So, let us understand the advantages. So, as far as material processing is concerned, it has virtually unlimited choice of alloys, components and associated problems. Number two, you can produce a parts with controlled porosity, which is a practical requirement. Then can be very economical for a mass production, long term reliability through close control of dimensions and physical properties. We can produce uh, many types of uh, you know shape and designs. And as the process unique feature is net shape uh, manufacturing, so material utilization is optimal. 
disadvantage the one is uh, size capability is one limited in size capability then again uh, need to control the environment because of the corrosion concerns another one is cost of a die but cost of a die you can overcome it by deploying it for a long term production and still the process is now slowly gaining importance and entering in many areas that we are going to uh, that i'm going to give you those uh, how this field is now revolutionizing the manufacturing sector it is now penetrating many areas for its applications now limitations are concerned the uh, size and shape of the part it is capital intensive special purpose machines are there uh, initial investment is more you need to run for break even for so many parts and the cost of die is one thing so again for near net ship manufacturing the ejection as well as loading unloading should be such that it should not damage the edges of the part so no need of further processing should be there so because of very specific and uh, exclusive you know advantages of this process the process has gained now major importance if you see the applications now uh you will come to know how the powder metallurgy is now making inroads into various sector it is there in automobile industry for components like motors gear assemblies brake parts even abrasives those we use it for finishing purpose grinding wheels in manufacturing cutting and drilling tools they are used uh, manufactured by using powder metallurgy electric and magnetic devices they are produced medical and dental you know in that field implants amalgams prosthesis aerospace motors heat shield structural parts welding for solder and electrodes in energy sector electrodes and fuel cells and as a, as earlier said porous filters and even sporting goods also they are manufactured with the help of this powder metallurgy so these are some of the practical examples of the powder metallurgy which are now widely used in the field uh, then after understanding what is powder metallurgy through two three types of the definition then the importance of the powder metallurgy that signifies how the process is having the unique features then importance then advantages then some understanding even the process limitations now and then after going through the some practical examples let us now attempt one quiz here uh, first question here is porous product can be effectively produced using powder metal whether it's true or false so as i said the unique feature of this process is production of this porous products like filters and those uh, bearings and for um, self lubricating bearings and for gears etc the answer is yes first one true because porosity is a empty space in the product material in the production of highly porous part by powder metallurgy using suitable spacer material is a well established technique so for example titanium and stainless steel such type of you know porous materials are processed with the help of powder metal the second question is what is the dimensional accuracy in powder metal there are four options high medium low sometimes high and sometimes low fourth option answer is a the dimensional accuracy is high and because powder metallurgy yield of a powder metallurgy is a net shape or a near shape so there is no extra processing required so process offers a dimensional tolerance and mechanical properties that are compatible with many applications so this is another major advantage then the third quiz question is wastage of material in powder metallurgy as scrap is whether it's large small depends on other factors how many and the answer is b that means wastage is small so due to fact that it gives us near shape net shape so only 2 to 3% and in case of a net shape manufacturing it is almost zero 
complex shapes can be formed by uh, formed effectively using options are powder metallurgy turning sand casting and metal casting four uh, process options are given there and the answer is again a that is powder metallurgy so powder metallurgy allows us to create high quality products with near net shape dimensional control and high degree of control over a manufacturing process so these are some of the examples of powder metallurgy machine parts for electric motors these components are produced with the help of uh, powder metallurgy and the last one before concluding if you see these are the components which are manufactured by using powder metallurgy so in this session today we understood about what is powder metallurgy its significance process significance its unique features then its importance and then its advantages its process limitations and also the process practical applications so after that the last part in this is the pm products that means various types of the products that you can manufacture you saw earlier the examples of this the various products that you can process it industrial machine parts then for electric motors the various parts and these are some of the industrial parts that we produce so gears bearings sprockets fasteners electric contacts cutting tools various machinery parts we saw the sector wise also the applications and uh, gears and bearings are ideal for powder metallurgy because of the porosity and lubrication now as far as powder metallurgy is uh, material processing capability is concerned uh, large tonnage of metals or alloys of iron steel aluminium even other material like copper nickel refractory metal molybdenum and tungsten they are used and metallic carbide and such as tungsten carbides are also uh, processed using the powder metals so that's all as far as uh, the today's session is concerned and in the next session we are going to understand about the how the the basic steps of the powder metals